Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like these types of videos, go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family. And for those of you who have been here, thank you guys so much for coming back to see me once again. So I am um, getting my hair done in five days. Um, today is Friday, I'm getting it done next week and I have really just been trying to <laughs> Hold on, today I have put it in this like little bun. The bun looks crazy. In addition to that, the bun has a lot of tension because I put um, bobby pins in it. So yeah, we're taking this out and um, we are going to put a wig over my locks. I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Before we get started, let me explain to you. This video is in collaboration with Yolissa Hair. And this is the packaging. I have not um, opened it yet. So we're gonna do an unboxing together, see what it looks like. Um, but you guys know me, I am a very easygoing person when it comes to my hair. Obviously I have locks, right? So I don't want to overwork. Um, so this should be a like easy grab and go, quick and super easy type of situation, um, especially for days like this. Cause I don't want to Put in more room. So I'm gonna go ahead and the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my bobby pins out. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Love the pink. Okay, so the hair inside of the box. We also have um, some lashes. Love that the hair band, which is important, a little edge brush. Um, they have, so it's like a little scarf as well. Of course, our wig caps, and this is a HD wig cap, which I can appreciate. And then our bag, so we can keep our hair. Have these little sticky things. So let me just straight to the hair. So I got a straight wig which is so unique for me <laughs> ah, i'm kind of nervous about it because um yeah i don't often do the straight ones but i'm like this should be like a quick easy one so it should not um you know what i mean it should i obviously have done them before and i feel like i'm better now than i was but oh oh at least it's <gasps> Mm -hmm. This is what I love. You see how barely nothing to work with. That's what I want. I don't want any like I got to work super hard to get it together. Nope. You see how it looks? Please pre pluck pre bleach. Don't give me anything to do because I'm not going to do it. Don't know how. Okay. Like, yeah, exactly. And it's just really like beautiful. The hair is really just yeah that's really what you do is you take this band you i'm going to show you you put it over the back of your head it's after you put on your wig cap you secure it i still like to cut this a little bit and just add a little something there for concealing purposes but literally it's just the that's you only even have to do that for the first time after that it's literally just to put it on and go like so cute and i don't have a lot of like um curling irons and I don't I don't really because I have locks I don't have a lot of hair tools but this is kind of like you really wouldn't you wouldn't need much so the caps and with the locks what your goal is going to be is you want to take the hair you want the top to be as flat as possible so I know some people braid theirs but for me if you look if I braid let me take a couple if I take a couple and I start to braid immediately, the top is bulky for me. I don't do that. I don't. And I know that's like a, some people can braid their hair and it can be flat. For something with me, I just, I prefer to just have my locks literally push down at the top so that at least that top part lays. The back usually is covered by the hair anyway. So I don't worry about the back too much. But what I do worry about is this, like that needs to be as flat as possible. So I am going to separate it in the middle part because the hair is in the middle part. Then I'm going to kind of fold the back of my locks up like this into each other and then put on the cap. And 
Once I have the cap on, I just like to take it and flatten it out at the top as much as I can. And most of my locks are in the back at the bottom. That's why I keep all the, the volume because it's easier to hide. So then I'm gonna take my gorgeous, gorgeous hair and I am going to kind of open it up, take this band. You can obviously adjust the band um, as needed. If you have locks, it's kind of bulky. So I open it up, but adjust the band as needed. I'm gonna put that on. They also have clips as well that you can clip into the hair, but I focus mainly on the band. Let's secure the band. Then put the wig on. So the band is on, the wig is secured, and now we adjust. Okay. So I haven't adjusted it yet. I'm just combing and looking at it, and y'all, this is so cute. I, um, let me take care of these little pieces up top. I was concerned because even with the straight, I never really do like a middle part situation. But this hair, like this is, I, like I'm really in shock. I'm going to, um, fix the situation up here. I do cut it a little bit with my tiny scissors. And in order for me to like keep it, like I um I just cut it a little bit and then I put a little bit of product on it. Um, bronzer so that it blends together. Next, I'm just gonna take a little bit of spray, the got to be glued spray and just put it around the perimeter. And then I'm gonna use the wig band that they gave me to like tie that down for a couple minutes. And then, yeah. Even though it is like a quick, you know, you still try to want it to look as nice as possible. So I'm gonna lay that on for a little bit and then um, add a little bit of bronzer to it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my bronzer. I'm gonna take a piece of tissue and rub it in my bronzer because I do wanna protect my bronzer from like, you know, I don't wanna use the brush around the um, wig with my bronzer because I have sensitive skin and that will not, yeah. So I just put a little bit on some tissue and then I take this brush that I only obviously use when I'm doing the wig situation and then I will put it around the perimeter of my hair just to make it seamless. I think this is so cute, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was a little nervous because, again, I don't, I, one, I don't do middle parts that often. Two, for me to have a straight middle part overlocks, so I was like, I don't know, but. Mm hmm. Yeah. I love it. Like, I don't know y'all, y'all let me know. I think I'm getting, I'm getting good. Like, <laughs> this is not bad. Like, it's really not bad. I I really, really, really like this. The hair is really beautiful. Um, it feels super easy. It feels super light. Like, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing something like, you know, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a hat. Like, it's just, you know, it's easy, it's comfortable, it's easy to put on. Um, the color is pretty, like, it's not too full. I, but like it combs super easily. This is, this is really nice. Yeah, love it. So thank you again to Yolissa Hair for partnering with me and bringing this video. I really enjoyed the hair. All the information for you guys will be down below for you to check it out. Girl, get you one, you won't regret it. Um, and yeah, I appreciate you guys for joining me for a little quick tutorial on how I do the glueless, quick little, you know, for a day. And I appreciate you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.